Okay, it's time for the DNC. And uh, one of the interesting differences between the RNC and the DNC is that uh, the right wing of the Republican Party is always interested in working within the party framework. So their protesters, as it were, tend to come from inside the convention hall. So you saw the Ron Paul folks, for example, protesting from within the convention hall. And you saw the Tea Party actually succeed in getting um, a lot of planks and getting one of their guys, Paul Ryan, on the ticket. For the Democrats, uh, the left wing tends to be very suspicious of what's happening within the convention hall. And so I think we'll see a lot more protests outside of the convention hall. And I think one of the most exciting things to happen uh, so far is the journey of the Undocu bus. Uh, the Undocu bus is a bus taking illegal, uh, well, I should say undocumented uh, folks, folks who are not uh, yet uh, citizens of the United States, but who have lived here for a number of years taking them to uh, the convention center to protest and, set, and ask for um, permission to be granted full citizenship rights. And we have a number of outlets that have been covering this. KellerLines.com has done the best coverage. Uh, they have a special focus on immigration rights. Democracy Now! has, all, off, has also done a really great story on it, as well as The Nation. And uh, I expect uh, we'll hear more about that. The uh, Occupy movement also, of course, has a uh, Occupy camp in Charlotte, but I don't expect to hear much from Occupy because they are really very insistent on being nonpartisan, and a lot of the focus for the Occupy movement right now is on uh, their September 17th anniversary for Occupy Wall Street, and so all my indications are that they're really focused on that anniversary and on actually helping out from Hurricane Isaac. And I don't think we'll see them be a big presence down in, uh, in the DNC.